What's up y'all? My name is Casey Marie and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing why I chose to attend North Carolina Central University. I had mentioned in my previous videos that I was transferring to Central from NC State and I wanted to kind of give a little story time about that because I said I would and um, it's a pretty interesting and crazy story but it's a unique one and I felt like sharing it if that makes sense and so I'm going to try not to make this video too long because I know sit down videos where someone is talking for a really long period of time can kind of be boring so I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible but anyways let's get into it okay to get this video started we're going to take it back to fall 2019 of my senior year when we were getting ready to apply for school um, I applied to 10 different schools and I got into eight out of the ten um, I applied to North Carolina Central, North Carolina A&T, Winston-Salem State, Elizabeth City, North Carolina Wesleyan, UNCG, UNC Chapel Hill, ECU, North Carolina State, and Chihuahua University. Um, I got denied at Carolina and I had some issues with my application process at North Carolina A&T, so I didn't really get a decision from them. So that's why I'm saying I got into eight out of the 10 schools that I applied to. And just a disclaimer, if you see me looking down, I have a notes right here and I want to make sure I stay on topic. So I'm going to occasionally be looking back at that. So if you see that, don't mind it. But um, I applied to two schools that I thought I would either be denied or deferred to and but I just wanted to apply just to say I applied whether I got in or not it wouldn't matter um those schools were North Carolina A um dang not North Carolina A&T but North Carolina State University and USC Chapel Hill um USC Chapel Hill denied me and I was accepted at North Carolina State obviously um I initially thought I was going to be deferred at state and I knew I would probably wouldn't have gotten into Carolina because I have a I had a great GPA in high school, but I was a terrible test taker. So my test scores were not, they were good, but they weren't USC Chapel Hill and North Carolina State good. <laughs> so it was kind of a long shot for those two schools. But um, like I said, I ended up getting denied at Carolina and I got to step into NC State. So my first choice of schools was North Carolina Central. So when I applied and got into North Carolina Central, I think that was the first um, acceptance letter I got from all of my schools. Um, I was ecstatic, literally. Um, at that point, I was like, you know, all these other acceptance letters are great and all, but I'm going to North Carolina Central. It doesn't matter, you know, what everyone else says, even though there were still great accomplishments to get into these great institutions. North Carolina Central was my number one pick and North Carolina State was my number two pick. So I got into my top two schools, which was, you know, when, in my opinion. And so, like I said, I was excited about going to North Carolina Central. And I was dead set on it, too. From I was even dead set on going to Central way before I even applied. So when school started, I was North Carolina Central, North Carolina Central. And I would tell you to your face, when someone asks, where are you going to school? Or where are you think I'm going to, going to school? I would say, oh, I'm going to North Carolina Central University. And they were like, really? I'm like, yeah. You know, they were like, are you going to apply anywhere else? I'm like, yes, of course, but I'm going to Central. So, um, it was the night that I had got back from a basketball game. And I was, I had got an email that my decision on my Wolfpaw account had been reached. So, I checked my account and to my knowledge, I was accepted into North Carolina State. So, Y'all remember that plan about me saying I was going to North Carolina Central and it didn't matter what the mother school said. Oh, boy, was that changed. So that kind of getting into North Carolina State was a great thing, but it threw a monkey wrench in my plan. 
So with that, I became very conflicted about where I should go to school. In one hand, I was like North Carolina Central and the other, I was like, Busy State looks good too. So I was going back and forth. I was having conversations with my mom and my dad, my friends, my family, and my mom and dad were, you know, they're NC State alum. So they were like, you should go here. And plus they have, you know, a lot of connections there. Um, my family is also, most of my, my aunts and my uncles and a few of my cousins are also NC State alum. So they were North Carolina Central. I mean, they were North Carolina State. I had a few that were North Carolina Central, but mostly North Carolina State was the popular vote. And my friends were, you know, I think you should go where you want to go. If Central is where your heart is, that's where you need to go. But if you're feeling North Carolina State, you need to go there. So they were kind of telling me to follow my own heart and mind and do my own thing. So, um, as we got closer to May and decision day, I was still confused about what I should do, but in the back of my mind, I was ultimately leaning towards North Carolina Central. My parents had, you know, reservations and different thoughts about me going to North Carolina Central. So they said in order for me to go, I would have to apply for the honors program there. So my mom and I called and they told us that the deadline was fastly approaching and we would need to get all the requirements and stuff in as soon as possible. So we scrambled to get everything in and I got it in and I got my letter on May 1st and I got accepted into the honors program there. So I was happy because that meant my decision was made. I was going to Central where I wanted to go. And um, I went to go show my mom and my dad and you know, sorry, mom and dad, but they gave me very much dry uh, reactions. And so we went the whole day. I was kind of bummed because they weren't excited, but I was. So I couldn't really, you know, participate in decision day like I wanted to because my mom was like, you know, it's no need to make a hasty decision. Let's think on it some more and um, then we can announce it. So, you know, I said, okay, because she had a point. But in my mind, I was still North Carolina Central, <laughs> you know, all over again. Um, and a few weeks later, they, my mom and dad sat me down one evening. And they told me that North Carolina Central was not an option for me anymore. And that I had to go to North Carolina State for a year. And if I didn't like it, I could transfer it out. So I had to go along with it. They really gave me no choice. It was nothing I could do about it. I had to go. So, you know, I had to yield to them and do as they say. So I packed my stuff up and headed off to Raleigh, North Carolina, to North Carolina State in August. And the time leading up to me leaving, I was still conflicted. I was angry, disappointed, the whole nine, you know, nothing but negative thoughts about it. Um, I tried to get as excited as I could about it, but it just, something won't click in for me. <clears throat> so I got moved in and I met all three of my roommates. I had two black I mean, dang, I have two white roommates and one black. And I was excited to move in. I had my own room, so that was a, a positive. And um, I didn't have to worry about community bathrooms <laughs> and sleeping with someone I didn't know. So that was a positive. Um, the only downfall about that was the fact that my two white roommates were Trump supporters. And although they were nice people and they never did anything negative to me, they weren't, you know, rude. And we got along the short period of time we were there. But for me, it was just uncomfortable because the way the world was making the whole um, election, it just wasn't, it, it didn't, it made me uncomfortable. Like it wasn't just them, it was the world in general. Um, you know, being black in America can 
have its downsides downsides i said that right but anyways um so we were there for literally two weeks i feel like i'm all over the place but anyways we were there for two weeks and we got sent home because of covid and as soon as i got that email i was out i told my mom come and get me and she was like you don't want to wait it out and see if the cases go down you know or see if they do anything different with in regards to covid protocols i told her no come and get me and why i was so fast in a hurry to leave was because the two weeks that i was there i did nothing but sleep and stay in my room if i left my room for any reason it would be to go stay at my cousin's house. I was out with my black roommate or I had to go to class. And that was because, like I said, I felt uncomfortable, you know, being on campus. I didn't feel like I could, you know, walk around campus without feeling like something bad was going to happen because the world is so violent and negative at this point. And it's a lot of hate crimes and you know, I, I don't want to encounter anything and I don't want to have to, you know, be put in a position to have to defend myself and pos possibly end up with who knows what or worse. So for me, it was just uncomfortable. And um, my black roommate, she and I are really fr good friends. Um, I talked to her from time to time. I actually went on vacation with her back in May for my cousin's birthday. So she and I were cool, and I'm still cool with the other two girls. Like I said, I had no real big issues with them. It was just the thought of them being Trump supporters kind of made me a little uncomfortable. Not that I'm saying someone opposite of me can't have a different opinion or whatever, because I have different opinions myself. And if they knew, you know, I supported otherwise, they probably would have felt uncomfortable as well. And I'm not going to speak for them, but I'm just saying that's how I felt. So, and I'm going to keep it as honest as possible with y'all. So, um, I'm sorry, but I got along with them other than that. And um, like I said, it was just uncomfortable for me. And rather feeling uncomfortable, I'd rather do other things. So I don't make them feel uncomfortable because they side with a different side than I am. Because, I mean, the world, we're supposed to be a, a united front i guess if that makes sense and you know nobody should feel bad about how they feel or their opinions on something so besides that i just felt really isolated and you know i just felt like nc state wasn't for me so i complained about it the entire year um online wasn't fun for me either um my grades took a turn honestly they weren't the best um I had no focus, no motivation, no nothing. I was so just focused on get me to May 2021 so I can leave. And so the fall, the end of the fall semester came and I told my mother, I'm out. I'm done. I've made my decision. I don't care to be here any longer. And she and I were going back and forth about transferring for the spring instead of transferring for fall of 2021. So my dad was, y'all said a year, we're staying a year. So I had to finish out the year at state. No matter how much I complained, cried, fussed, argued, yelled, it didn't matter. I was staying in Oklahoma State. So I finished the year. And like I said, it has it positive positives and negatives i developed a great relationship with my advisor and i developed a new friendship with uh, one of my roommates and um i continue to say if it wasn't for them to my time at nc state probably would have been worse and i'm very grateful for those two people they're honestly a blessing to me and um you know i always you know reach back out to them you know as much as possible but anyways um so we applied to um, Central in the spring, and I got accepted, and we applied to the honors program again, and I got accepted. So, therefore, it leads me to now, I'm a student at North Carolina Central University. I'm a 
second semester sophomore there i'm a few credits shy of being a junior so after this semester i will be junior status so um yeah i'm really excited to be an eagle if you cannot tell by my previous videos at orientation and if you live with me or have been around me you know i've been talking about central for the past two years so um the, the process for transferring wasn't you know it wasn't bad you know i would just you know i don't know i wouldn't i don't have anything negative to say about the transfer process i just know it took a while and i was eager to hear back like i wanted to hear back as soon as i submitted the application but that's not how college life works so anyways i wanted to also talk about why i chose north Carolina central and why i didn't decide to transfer to another hbcu um there are plenty of hbcus in the state of north carolina and there are a lot of hbcus in the state in the united states period but i wasn't gonna go anywhere outside out of state because that's extra money and um i just lost my train of thought <laughs> but anyway um so i decided that i was just going to apply to one school because I didn't want to go through being conflicted again about where I wanted to go. Um, I have a cousin at North Carolina A&T, so some of my family members were telling me, why not go to A&T with your cousin? And I was like, no, she has her own path, you know, there. She's made a way for herself, and I want her to have her own individual identity, and I want to be able to have my own, you know, nothing nothing uh, bad to say about A&T, even though they're our rival school, but North Carolina Central was just in my heart and it felt right for me. I've stated um, in previous videos that North Carolina Central gives me a family vibe. And I feel like North Carolina Central um, desires for every student to be successful there. You know, not just, even though it is a historically black um, university, I feel like they want all kinds to succeed. You know, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, every race, religion, whatever. You have a place there. And that's something that I loved about North Carolina Central, that you felt invited there. And it really isn't any judgment there, I feel, you know. It's going to be judgment, of course, but, you know, it just felt comfortable there. And I felt like I would be able to fit in, you know, easier than I would at NC State. So, and also the fact that, you know, HBCUs know how to turn up, for real. And if y'all ain't get the idea at, the, while watching my uh, orientation videos, uh, physically go to the campus and you you know, <laughs> you know. But anyways, um, so I got my wish. And like I said, I got accepted. And it felt like a big weight off my shoulder when I got my acceptance letter. And actually being on the campus for orientation just solidified everything I was feeling about Central it just made it more real for me. And it was more of a confirmation that this is where I need to be. This change is the change that I need to start to be able to find myself and begin a positive and successful path that I was on when I was in high school. And to have that back and to have that feeling that I can do this and get through this and I'm not thinking so negatively about it, it's, it's just great for me. Um, I haven't been happier and um, literally, my mother can tell you that this is the most excited I've been about school in a long time. And, um, <laughs> you know, if y'all can't tell, I get the idea. I'm really excited about going to my HBCU. And so I'm looking forward to this year being a great year. And, um, you know, nothing but positive things to say. And North Carolina State University will always be my home because it's where I spent most of my childhood. But North Carolina Central will be my home for the next three years. And I'm excited and proud to say that. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again and I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> but um, that's really all that I had to say. Um, I hope my little story, even though I was kind of, you know, speeding through everything, 
I hope it made sense and you can understand where I'm coming from. Again, I also want to really um, make note and really beat it into y'all's heads. I am no shape or form have any bad intentions or, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with the opposite race. And I don't think it's anything wrong with having your own opinion. It's just for me, I have to think about my mental health and my well-being and how I want to spend the next four years of my life. And that just won't it. And so therefore, rather than making someone else feel comfortable, uncomfortable, I'm going to decide to move to a place where I can feel a little bit more at home and comfortable. So, you know, I don't think I just hate the opposite people because I know some of my subscribers may be... Um, of a different race and they might also think differently and I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable because this channel is a all-inclusive channel so everyone is accepted here we're we're a family we're friends as of right now I'm telling you if you subscribe to my channel we're friends so um this is getting a little long but I just wanted to make that statement and I can clarify more if anyone has anyone any questions you can always comment below or you can message me on my social media links. So, uh, like I'm rambling again. But anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.